Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Last time we uh, defeated Shemhazi the Whisperer. And he's our new Esper now, so. Um, and apparently he's right here. <laughs> Got a new Esper. Always love that, obviously. Um, so now we are going to continue on. Deal with this. Oh, this path and no other reach you the round of the end line along with the chosen. Every one. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We, Ocuria, have chosen you, and you alone. Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crest, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. The mother of all Nethesite, the source of its unending power. The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crest's light. Such power exists? In times that are long passed away, we sought to save this Ivalice, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword, and cut the crest. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. That's why I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat anew, to cut a run for history's flow. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cut deep the crest, and seize your shards. Wield Dynas King's power. Destroy Vanar. But Vanar? Vanar's an Acurian, a being like you. Vanar is a heretic! Uh. The Nethersite is ours to give to chosen bearer, or to none. The heretic trespassed and set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. With imitations they profane. It is anathema to us. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. Judgment? <sighs> Destroy them all? The Empire? The hues ever skew. Histories weave. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to air by base desires. Toward waste and wasting. On they run. Undying, we are curious like the path for wayward sons of man. Oft did we pass judgment on them, so that Ivalice might endure. Eternal, 
We are history's stewards. To set the course and keep it true. The Chosen is our hand, our fist. To let live some and crush the rest. Princess, you have been chosen. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Attain to your birthright. What's with these Akuria? What gives them the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Akuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait, and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite, and reeled us in with his stories about Gitta Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Arcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the Nethysite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with Nethysite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. I will search out the Sun Christ. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? We obtain the treaty made. That's... Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty, and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth. Shall I wager all our fortunes? As you will. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vena? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah, to hell with the Ocuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. 
We conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured Nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <laughs> Tell me, Vena, have I not been an apt pupil? My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Geron have on history's reins, seated on throne immortal, rent from time? For your ascendance, vain, I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Redis say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe he found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? it enough. The place is actually abhorrent. I dread it. Every time I go there. I think for the story, I don't have to go there anymore. Sorry, no. Ships in the water. Send fishing dories if need be. I care not. Gloss air engines are as good to us as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have foundered. I want soul saved, not driftwood. Our armada ran afoul of bad water near the Ridderana cataract. All engines stopped a sudden. 
becalmed, in trouble with a mist thick as death, it seems. Those seas are yacht. I expected airship trouble, not a fleet foundering midst the waves. Tell me of what happened in Giruvagon. From the lay of your eyes, I measure all did not go well. Sid, was he false as I feared? Yes, but we may have caught a glimpse of his true intent. We may now know what it is that Sid searches for. So the day affected Nithocyte was only a fragment? And these Ocurii know not and care to know even less. If we strike the Suncrist with the Sword of Kings, no new stone may be born. We say the Suncrist is the source of all Nethysite's power. If we might break it, the Dusk Shard would be as a thing lifeless. As for the manufactured Nethysite, who can say? There is another way. We use the Treaty Blade to cut a new stone from the Crist. Use that to fight the Dusk Shard and the manufactured stones. Would you like to know the best use of Nethysite? Will or nil, I'll tell you. You pick it up and throw it away. Either way, we have to find the Sun Chris first, right? Don't we? Across the sea, and a tower on a distant shore. Redis? Familiar words, Vaughn. I saw something of the sort written in some documents I chanced upon during my visit to Draclaw. The Naldoan Sea, the Ridrana Cataract, and the Pharos Lighthouse. I sent my fleet to fish out the truth behind these words, and caught trouble. Then proof is ours. This lighthouse on the Naldoan Sea is the tower on the distant shore. The strong mist that becalmed your ships is a grimmer yet clearer sign than any we might hope for. The Suncrist is there. All well and good, but how do we get there? Those seas are in Yacht, as I recall. Try putting this one in your ship. It is a Skystone made to resist Yacht. More spoils from the Draclaw labs, is it? Why not use it yourself? That's just the thing. My ship's a Bajurban model. It will not work. But should it fit the Strahl, she'll fly in Yacht. Lady Ash. I would accompany your highness, if you do not object. I am in your care. But tell me one thing. Why do so much for us? The Nabudis Deadlands. Nabudis was your home? Nay, but a memory forever burned in my heart. Redis runs our party now, so I don't know what level he is. Can't wait to see. Oh, it is you. Have you heard our ship sent to the Pharaohs have foundered? Foundered? Found Thankfully not the word, just the fishing skulls came home. So straight away. The run of the great Pharaohs at the bottom of this cataract, no matter what thought I'm a good they go there, so after me one of his children. There's the no man of Balfonheim. And then he gets this play, he knew he knew no fear. Like for the Great Pharaohs, the place to eat in York, you know. Might be able to fly there. Hey, you are the Pharaohs on the straw are complete. You can leave wherever, whenever you want from the air. People are yours. Leave the sky stone like a flying yacht. Get a random straw and they go. The straw can now travel through a yacht. That's what a good fortune. The new sky stone should ease your journey considerably. Now you know the way. Girls Terror on Distant Shore stands on the island of the Ritteronic Ritteronic Cataract and the Yog Naldo was so peace of here. Take care. Yay! What level is he? 38? Huh? About on par, I would say.
all of them. Yeah, that's what it's for. A tower on distant shore, and about its peak, a piercing mist. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. I need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her.
Alberta's on our team, it seems like things die a lot more easily. That's a good thing in my opinion. I'm gonna end this episode here guys. Next time hopefully we get to the big old tower over there. And let's see what happens when we get there. Sun cruise, here we come. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. I'll see you next time. Take care.